Hey, it's Jeremy from Opticast.com. So this is the second time that I have had some pre-recorded audio that I was planning to post with a drawing video, and I'm not using that because this time I specifically have things I want to say about the the images that are actually playing, the drawings I'm working with. Um, the odd thing is that there's actually little notations that I made in these videos as I was drawing. I'm doing working on thumbnails for issue five of Morningstar, and for, and I started putting notes in here. They're actually for the uh, the viewer, for you guys. Like right there, I just wrote on days when even the drawing is going slow, you must remind yourself that it will not be easier tomorrow. The only way out is forward go, which I think is the uh, the title of a greatest hits album by Killing Joke which is why I used it. But yeah, this was a particular night where I was struggling getting the images and the drawings coming out. And it's funny because this layout process, the fact that I've been documenting my creative process, it's becoming meta because there's times when I'm making stuff and as I'm making it, I'm doing stuff not for the comic, but I'm doing stuff for you guys. So that's really weird. And it's also one of the things I kind of wanted to talk about is... I still don't know what direction I'm going with these videos in terms of them becoming less the dis the discussion, the audio, what you're listening to. I'm still struggling with whether it's going to be directly related to the drawings or whether it's just going to be almost like a, a video version of a podcast where I'm just talking about a topic. The images are shorter here for, for texture, to keep your eyes entertained. Look at the pretty drawings while the monkey speaks. Um... I still haven't decided which way to go because there's times when I very much have things on my mind that have nothing to do with the drawings. And then there's times when there's very specifically things I want to say about what are in the images. Or if there's something that occasionally is a little bit lesson-like where I want to explain what I'm doing and use it as a teachable moment or share something in my process that I think could benefit other creatives. And my instinct is to plan it and just choose a direction and stick with it. But I think that's what I'm starting to realize. Like I frequently tell people when they're trying to find a solution to the problem, maybe the solution is to not have a solution, to be flexible, to look for that middle ground. Like the, the famous Yogi Berra quote, where he says, when I see a fork in the road, I take it. And, you know, I think that if you're somebody who's a planner, then maybe sometimes the best move when you're stuck is to let go and go freestyle. And if you're somebody who always flies by the seat of their pants, maybe when you're stuck, you need a little structure. And the big thing that I need to remember, because I frequently tell this to other people, and I think that I'm the worst at not taking my own advice. So I need to remind myself that things are not digital. They're not zero or one. We live in an analog world. So if I'm struggling with an issue, if I can't find an answer, then maybe the answer is to stop looking for a specific answer. Maybe I need to let go of control a little bit. Maybe these videos aren't always going to be the same thing. Maybe one video will be a tutorial. The next video will be me randomly babbling while stuff is playing. The next one will be me narrating exactly what I'm drawing and why, even though it's not a tutorial, and me commenting on what I'm making. It could be a mix. And maybe there isn't going to be a rhyme or reason. And maybe it'll be the same way in the row, a row for 10 videos. And then it'll be different every single video for five more videos. And maybe there won't be a pattern. I'm realizing I can't control everything. And I need to stop trying. And that... Even goes even deeper into something that I was thinking about talking about. This is not directly related to the drawings, but it's been heavy on my mind. I am struggling with something that a lot of artists struggle with, um, which is fitting in everything that you want to do. I mean, it's partially a time management issue, but it's also partially just the, the ambition of wanting to do everything. And... You've seen me post, post plenty of videos of me doing stuff with figure drawings, redrawing stuff from my class, doing studies from old masters, what have you. And in order to make more progress on Morningstar and trying to get forward on the whole series, I've had to give up something that means a lot to me. And what that is, is study time. 
I take figure drawing classes every week. I have a three-hour class I go to in uh, in Burbank. I study with Carl Ganas at the Animation Guild. And um, what I've realized that even though I've been taking classes there for several years, only in the past year or two have I started taking my cl- cl- um, bleh, Only in the past year or two have I started taking my poor drawings from class and redrawing them, to study them, to break down exactly what it is that I don't know in terms of anatomy or volume or proportion, break those things down and really dig in so I can say, oh, these are the reasons why I still do bad drawings. These are the things I need to learn better. And on top of that, even more, I started going in and not just studying my old drawings, but then going in and seeing with anatomy books. And I would do this during my lunchtime at work, sit down with anatomy books or books on drawing animals or drawing landscapes or whatever perspective. All the numerous art books that artists collect, um, I touched on this in my reference rot video, I am actively studying them. I'm opening them now and I'm saying, you know, I was saying every day at lunch, I'm going to pick a different topic and I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn. I'm going to keep growing as an artist and I'm never going to stop till the day I die. Except I stopped. <laughs> and it's driving me fucking crazy. Um, the reason why I stopped is because I need more time to get Morningstar done. In order to move forward in my artistic career, to move forward with other projects I want to do, I have to wrap up the series. I have to wrap up the last four issues because it's not fair to the readers that have started reading the story. I've already taken too long as it is. The people that have stuck with me, I need to finish this for them. And I need to finish it in a timely fashion. And so I started sacrificing some of that drawing time. And, oh, that, that was my cat, Kachu. Um, my wife and I's cat. And Kachu was sitting in my lap and kept pawing at the table. So eventually I was like, oh, maybe she wants to be in the video. And she was like, no, put me down. I don't like this. So I, I put it back down and kept drawing. Um... The studying, I had to put it aside to move forward with Morningstar, to get it done faster. And on an existential scale, oh, by the way, this is the other reason. Another note that I put in here, full disclosure, often I I pause the videos as I'm making them. This is Kachu again, just, she kept sitting in my lap and wanting attention. And so I thought, all right, I took the camera off the mount so you could actually see the little kitty that I'm constantly talking about. And she is adorable, and I brag about her like she's a kid because I love that cat. Um, But yeah, full disclosure, I often pause these videos while I'm drawing so I can sit down and actually think about what I'm doing. I'm going, I'm going, but usually at least, you know, once or twice every three minutes, there's a point where I paused Sometimes I pause just because I have to go to the bathroom or get a drink or something. But I, I pause these videos as I go a lot of times just because I'm thinking about what I'm drawing. I need to figure it out in my head. The bigger thing that I was talking about is that I'm frustrated. A lot of fr- artists are frustrated because they don't have time to do all the things I want to do. And for me, the one thing I want to do is keep growing and learning and getting better. And I've talked so much about how passionate I am about that. And it kills me that I have to put my studies on pause because I have seen the dividends. I've grown, I feel like I've grown more in the past two years as an artist than I have in the past decade. And that's not to say that I don't have a tremendous amount more to learn and grow. I always, you know, try to remind people of that. I don't think I'm the shit, but I've seen what the studying is doing and having to stop and pause so I can finish Morningstar is agonizing. At the same time, finishing Morningstar feels fantastic and taking a long time longer than I should for readers to wrap it up is equally agonizing. So this is my bitching and moaning video, but I'm letting you know if it seems like I have it all figured out, I don't. I'm just as frustrated as all the other creative people out there. And I feel like sharing that is just as important. That's it for now. Check out my website, OpticHouse.com. If you enjoy these videos, please share them. Also, sign up for my weekly newsletter to get a free digital download and see what else I'm working on. Go be creative.